Hey, so today I'm talking about the Pisces woman and how to get with one. So, a Pisces woman's birthday falls anywhere between February 19th and March 20th. The sign of a Pisces woman is the fish, the element of a Pisces woman is water, and the quality is mutable. The Pisces woman. This is a type of woman that men tend to fawn over. Whether it be one or twenty suitors, there's always somebody that's kind of crushing or interested in a Pisces woman. Pisces women may initially come across as mysterious and kind of elusive and it's hard to really grasp and get an idea of who they are. They also, you know, generally come across as sweet. They kind of give an impression that they're in need of protection, whether it be from somebody they're romantically interested in or dating or even just like a friend. Um, Pisces women just tend not to be the type to like take charge and they're just more the type to kind of want to be protected, kind of want to be looked after. And I'm not saying that, you know, they're weak and dependent. It's just that this is just their general way of being, and it's just they're more likely to kind of want somebody to look after them and care about them and kind of help them out. You know, just care about them and love them. So on the other side, though, sometimes Pisces women with this way about them, it can be a little challenging not to become dependent on other people because they kind of feel comfortable in that role, but as long as they, you know, be, are aware of this, they're fine and they are not, you know, dependent and they can be very independent people. Pisces women aren't the type that want to dominate their partners, you know, they're not bossy, they're not trying to control the relationship, they don't want somebody to control them, but they kind of, like I said, like someone to take care of them. They rarely like to argue, it can upset them more than any other sign in the zodiac, you know, I said it before, Pisces is the most sensitive sign in the zodiac. It's number one, it wins, Pisces takes the cake for sensitivity. Yes, there are other signs that are quite sensitive, cancer, but for the most part, no, Pisces are just the most sensitive sign. A Pisces woman's general nature is to please people. This is kind of the person that's a people pleaser, and I don't say that in a bad way. They just like people to be happy with them. They don't like people to be upset with them. It can really, really bother them. Like, because Pisces are very, you know, empathetic, empathic, they feel things more than other people, they feel, you know, somebody's anger inside themselves, you know, more than any other sign. It can just be really difficult for them to deal with. So they generally like to please people and keep everything, you know, as calm, cool, and collected, happy as they can. A Pisces woman, you know, likes the type of man or woman that can take care of them, protect them, um, and... They have a soft spot and like to look after, you know, people as well, certain kinds of people, and I'll get into that later. Pisces women tend to make friends easily, whether they want to or not. They tend to just have a calm aura about them that makes people just feel really comfortable around them, you know, usually right away when they meet them. They just have that way about them that's very warm, um, and you just kind of feel, even if the Pisces woman is quiet, you just kind of feel, huh this is a nice person, I get a good vibe, like that kind of feeling. Um, a Pisces woman can generally make people feel very comfortable in their presence without even trying to. Pisces women can live in a bit of a dream world. Uh, she doesn't enjoy conflict, so when things start to get tough, like the Pisces man, the Pisces woman can kind of escape into like her own fantasy world. And I'm not saying she's like off closing her eyes and humming in the corner and blocking her ears and like in an imaginary land. I'm just saying she'll kind of just like drift off maybe from the conversation and daydream and kind of just, you know, think of other things and what they really want to be doing at that time. <laughs> They're not always like the most invested people in every single conversation. They're kind of always in back and forth between reality and their fantasy um, dream world. Pisces women are definitely not the type to just jump into an argument. They'd rather handle things calmly, or they'll just act like nothing's happening. So if somebody's mad at them, they might either try to... They'll probably most likely be more passive and not say anything and kind of just tell themselves nothing's wrong and hope that the situation just blows over and nothing has to be done about it. If there is a conflict directly presented to them, Pisces women aren't the type to get, like, very, very angry and loud and, like, heated. They're more, they try to handle it calm. They may be the type to get really emotional, 
and upset about conflict because it truly bothers them. Some Pisces women are so sensitive that they can become rather cynical or bitter, and especially if they've had kind of a bad or tough childhood, it can be a little difficult for them to view the world as just a really happy, good place, and it takes a lot of work for them. You know, like I said, they feel everything, so if they've had a lot of negative experiences, it can be hard for them to forget that and forget what that feels like, and they kind of just, you know, take that feeling and kind of start to view everything like that, and just can be difficult for them. A uh, Pisces woman, you know, might have a hard time dealing with their intense sensitivity. They have an eerie ability to feel others' pain and happiness. So if they're feeling others' happiness, that's great and awesome, and they're probably gonna be in a great mood, but if somebody close to them is in pain, or just they witness something painful or sad, then it's really gonna bother them, and it's probably gonna linger with them inside of them for quite some time. So because of this, Pisces women, you know, might turn to drugs or drinking or, you know, some kind of self-destructive behavior just to try to escape what they're feeling. They have a hard time dealing with things head on, so they might, you know, like self-medicate or something like that just to kind of try to, like I said, not deal with what they're truly feeling. Um, in their own personal struggles and issues. They can be quite mysterious, and Pisces women can struggle with depression. And the closer you become to her, the more she'll open up about it. And she'll stop trying to pretend everything's okay, you know, if it's not. If she feels comfortable with someone, and kind of like they can protect her and take care of her, and be, you know, kind of like someone that can be her hero in any situation. Like, she'll just kind of grasp onto that and be more willing to be open with somebody like that that she feels safe with. So it takes some time for this to happen. So if you're dating a Pisces woman and she just suddenly bursts into tears and you've never even seen her cry at, like, anything and all of a sudden she's just bawling, then don't be surprised. This could happen. Um, it happens with Pisces women. <laughs> so... It kind of can just seem to come out of nowhere, and it's just, you know, that moment, you know what, they feel comfortable with you, so I guess take it as a good thing, and yeah. Pisces women, like her male counterpart, can be quite creative. Sometimes they can dream more than they do, but on the other hand, knowing this about themselves, they may overwork to the point of exhaustion, you know, to kind of get past this feeling of inferiority, and... It's just kind of like one or the other, like kind of lazy or just like super, super way overworked and just won't settle down and just breathe because they just feel like they have to be doing something because they just don't feel good about themselves. Pisces women can be very adaptable to new situations and people and they normally have an easygoing way about them and Pisces are interested in other people and relationships. Um, they take quite an interest in it and, you know, when they meet new people that they like, they want to know everything about them. Um, they like to hear about, like, their friends' relationships and, you know, really kind of analyze their own sometimes. They pay a lot of attention to love and romance. Pisces women are very loving and they're true... Um, ro <laughs> Pisces women are very loving and they're true romantic. These are the type of women who, you know, most likely secretly crave a man to be, like I said, her knight in shining armor. Um, they want this guy or woman to save her from the cruelty of the world and, you know, the bad things that happen. She just wants to feel safe, like I said. And sometimes some Pisces women can kind of tend to feel and act like victims just because, you know, they've had everything that anybody else in the Zodiac experiences, they kind of experience like 10 times that. So Pisces women, you know, because of this too, can be very thoughtful to others and their friends and people they're in relationships with, their families. They love, you know, the same treatment. They love thoughtful surprises. They love heartfelt poems as long as they feel like the proper effort and love is being put into it. You know, like, they would like, like, somebody to... I don't know if anybody makes CDs anymore. I don't think they do. You know, if you made, like, a, a list of all these songs that, like, meant something to you about this woman, you know, just, like, the cheesy romantic stuff. Like, they just eat it up. They really do. <laughs> Shakespeare, whoever he was dating, she was probably a Pisces woman if she stayed with him, because he wrote her a lot of poems. <laughs> if you're interested in a Pisces woman, pull out the rose petals, the champagne, the bath bubbles, and that will help you, you know, get an in. Pisces women tend to find people interesting, like I said, and they may mistakenly lead other people on because they're, you know, just interested in general in this person, not necessarily romantically. 
So sometimes Pisces women, you know, may seem like they're interested in someone and they're kind of on the line of being flirtatious or just friendly. And like with the man, it's always kind of hard to tell if a Pisces woman likes you. You're like, oh, yeah, she definitely just flirted with me. And then you're like, wait, but was she? Or was she just being friendly? And, and then it's always kind of like a back and forth. She might drop like a suggestive comment. And then the next day, she's just acting like, you know, the two of you are like BFFs, like, you know, best friends forever. She kind of naturally comes across as flirtatious, and it's hard to truly tell, like I said, if this woman is into you. One thing a Pisces woman can't resist is helping somebody. They like a romantic man to take care of her, but they also have an attraction to men or women that have a fault or have dealt or are currently dealing with some kind of hardship. Um, you know, they find this appealing and sometimes have a hard time understanding, you know, the real person they're with and the real situation they're dealing with because they're trying to help. And they, you know, they feel bad for people and they want people to be happy and they want to help people, you know, so sometimes they end up in bad relationships with men or women that aren't good for them and they have a hard time seeing that. So if you want to know if a Pisces woman is interested in you, she'll usually spend more time around you all of a sudden. She'll kind of just like always want to be around you. And it's not like necessarily in a creepy way. It's just she'll want to like, you know, generally spend a lot of time with you, make excuses to spend time with you. She'll kind of like, you know, start being your best friend. She might give you advice on life situations or especially like other girls in a way to kind of sway you towards herself. You know, she might start talking about what she likes in a man and only to you you know she just kind of like never leaves and just starts to always be around or just like always in contact she might get nervous around you and i know like probably most people get nervous around people they like so that's not too unique you know you might like hear from her friends that she's interested in you because like i said she's interested in people in relationships and likes to discuss it with her friends so she might be talking about you and they might you know slip the secret and let you know and like I said, if she's truly interested in you and truly feels like some sort of a connection to you, she will open up. You will start to see, you know, what's behind this mystery of the Pisces woman. And that's kind of how you know, like, for sure, if this woman is interested in you and wants to continue a relationship. So I'm going to attach Pisces comp compatibility to this video because it's getting pretty long. And I also was just curious if anybody could tell me how to check comments and inbox things on my YouTube because for some reason it all changed and I just can't figure it out. <laughs> um, sometimes I can check them but I want to be able to just read any comments that are left so I can kind of you know respond to them and I'm having a really hard time with it especially on like my iPhone app um, and I have an iPad so I just for some reason I'm having a difficult time reading any comments that are left and it's frustrating me because I want to be able to you know, write back to people that are writing on my videos. So if anybody knows, could you just comment on this video and I'll check it <laughs> on this video. I'll have to like open it, I guess. As always, have a good day or night.